and the Great Wall. I have a book at the back entitled The Quran, The Great War and the West. And many of you may have already read that book. It's small. Hmm? The Quran, The Great War and the West. And in that book I argue, I argue that the Great War which is coming will not only be victorious for Russia, but that the West will be destroyed. President Putin has said, and he is a man who doesn't waste words, and when he speaks, you better listen. The others are blowing hot air, but not him. He said, we can destroy the whole of the United States of America in half an hour. So don't mess with nuclear Russia, that's what he said. And now they've learned the lesson. They're not messing with nuclear Russia. They're afraid to intervene in Venezuela. I do not know when it will come. Don't ask me in the question and answer session, when will the war start? All I can say, it is soon. How soon? I don't know. So don't ask me, please, when the Great War will start. Spare me that question. But what is going to happen in the Great War is that the war will be finished soon with missiles. Missiles. It's not going to be a conventional war. The Prophet Islam, said they were fighting for the mountain of gold. You know the mountain of gold? If you are my students, you know about the mountain of gold. Some of you are not shaking your head, eh? The mountain of gold. We can't teach that subject tonight. Huh? And he said that 99 out of every 100 who fight for that mountain of gold will be killed. And therefore, it cannot be a war of conventional weapons. I am therefore anticipating missiles to do the work within half an hour of the start of the war. Within half an hour probably. Most of the countries which are to be destroyed will be destroyed within half an hour perhaps. Very quickly. And so Russia today has missile capacity which surpasses that of the West. When some Russian warships in the Mediterranean fired off some missiles to destroy some ISIS camps in Syria, guess what the American aircraft carrier did in the Gulf? As soon as Russia showed its power, with missiles, the American aircraft carrier moved out very quickly. Very quickly they moved away. Because Russia says, you could spend billions and billions and billions building your aircraft carrier. The United States has, I don't know how many aircraft carriers, more than any other part of the world, they have it. And Russia says, all we need to do is to have the missiles. <laughs> and your aircraft carriers are sitting duck. Where did Russia get this tremendous military capacity with missiles that move at lightning speed and carry nuclear warheads? Answer? Surah to Namal. Surah to Namal of the Quran. You remember? <laughs> <laughs>